Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on double integrals, Cartesian coordinates, part 2. At first, we see basics on double integration and then we solve simple problems on double integration when all the limits are constant. So, those who don't watch the video, go to the description or go to the playlist, watch the video and come back to this second problem solving session. Whenever I consider a double integral over a region R, f of x, comma y, dy, dx, or dx dy if all my limits a b c d are constant then very obvious we know it represents the rectangular region r case to region bounded by the function suppose i am fixing my x limits are constant and y limits are functions of x say suppose the lower limit of y is y equal to g of x and the upper limit of x is y equal to h of x we saw all these basics in the first video just have a quick recap now you can understand what is happening in a more clear way. So I can represent if my x is constant, always it comes as outer integral. Then y will be the inner integral. And I can write the constant limit for the outer integral and the variable limit for the inner integral. Now we can see the diagrammatic representation. First we draw the constant limit. It's equal to a and x equal to b. Now we draw the curve which is given in the lower limit of the inner integral g of x and h of x. This is the region which covers the given problem. Now see that my integral is f of x comma y dy dx. That means y is a variable. If y is a variable, I am going to draw a vertical strip. This vertical strip is going to cover the whole region. See here, if y is a variable, I can draw a small, small vertical strip in the given region and I can cover the full region R. So when I draw this vertical strip, you can see always the strip touches the lower curve y equal to g of x and it moves to the upper curve y equal to h of x. So the vertical curve moves from bottom to top. Next, case 3. If the region is bounded by the function, now I am taking y as constant and x as the variable. So lower limit for x is a function of y that is g of y and for the upper limit x is the function of y that is h of y. Now we can see we will be getting double integral over r f of x comma y since here y is the constant and x is the variable we will be writing the order dx dy. Now we can see the diagrammatic representation. Since my y limits are constant, I can draw the line y equal to c and y equal to d. Now we have to draw the curves x in terms of y. g of y, this is the lower limit and this is the upper limit. And the yellow region is the region covered which is bounded the given problem. Now you see double integral over r f of x comma y, we are writing dx dy. So x is my variable. If x is a variable, consider an horizontal strip. The horizontal strip moves from the lower limit to the upper limit. So we will move from left to right. So I can just put a horizontal strip. You can see here like this. And then I can cover the whole region. So now what is the idea here? Double integral over R. If you get dx dy, then x is a variable. I am going to use a horizontal strip. This horizontal strip moves from left to right. If the region with dy d, then y is going to be a variable. If y is going to be a variable, I can cover the region by drawing vertical strip. The vertical strip move from bottom to top. So if you remember these things, this is going to be helpful for you to solve and crack the problems on change of order of integration. Very interesting topic which we are going to see in the forthcoming videos. So now we have covered all the three cases. Let us go into the problem. Evaluate integral 0 to a, integral y to a, dy dx. Here we should be very careful. Sometimes they give the order in the wrong format. That means the question is not wrong. We have to identify and we have to rectify it. See here, first we check the outer integral. It says dx. That means the limits are for x. x equal to 0 to x equal to a. Next, we come for the inner integral. Here we have dy. So the limits are going to be y equal to y to y equal to a. This is not first of all an equation. Y, y will get cancelled. It is going to be some equality. So here the question is wrong. Therefore, we have to write the question in the correct 
format. Don't touch the limit. We have to write this as it is. Now, whenever dy comes, the limit should be in terms of y. But here the limits are in terms of xt. Now we have to rewrite the question properly. We should never touch the limits. We have to write the limits as it is. 0 to a, y to a. We have the function given problem. Now, we have to write this dy dx. This is the order in the correct form. See, when we write this, if you get dy, then your limit should be think y in terms of function of x. But here, you see, whenever I have dy, I have x in terms of function of y. This is wrong. So, whenever you see this y in the inner limit, the correct order is dx dy. I'll give another example. Suppose your i is like this, integral 0 to a, integral 0 to x, f of x comma y. You just don't bother about the question. Go to the inner limit. See here, 0 to x. If your limit of x, then it is going to be dy dx. If your limit is y, then it is going to be dx dy. Hope you understand, student. First step, let us write correct order. Here, y is there, but we have dy. So, it will not match. So, write in the proper format. Let us step that capital I. Integral 0 to a, integral y to a. Nothing is given in the question. So, see here, we have y in my inner limit. If it is y, I have to write dx dy. This is the correct form. Now, integration is nothing. Integration of this is simply x. So, when I integrate this integral 0 to a, x, the limit from y to a, dy. So, when you simplify this, integral 0 to a will be getting a minus y dy. Integration of a minus y with respect to y is a y minus y square by 2. Integral 0 to a. So, when you apply the limit, we will be getting a square minus a square by 2. Therefore, final answer is i is equal to a square by 2. Problem over student. So, you should be very careful with the order. I am repeating, if you have y in the inner limit, then write dx dy. If you have x in the inner limit, write dy dx. You can see the typed version. So, problem gets over. Now, it is a practice time. Just pause the video and try to write the limit. So, we know this is going to be i double integral. See the strip. The strip is vertical strip. So, vertical strip means it has to go from the lower limit to upper limit. That is bottom to top. If it is a vertical strip, I am going to write dy dx because y is the variable. So, I don't want to know the function. It may be anything given in the question. My concern is only about the limit. So, when y is the variable, see the green strip moves from bottom to top. So, my y limits are from 0. 0 to x. Done. When y is variable, x is constant. Now you see the minimum value of x is 0 and the maximum value of x is a. Therefore, x varies from 0 to x equal to a. Now I can write the answer as inner limit 0 to x and the outer limit 0 to a. Hope now from the given figure, you know how to write the limits. This is going to be useful for the problem solving session which you are going to do in the future videos. See the type version. Now, do few more diagram. See this diagram. Here, we have a horizontal strip. It moves from left to right. Whenever it is an horizontal strip, immediately I will write dx dy. My x is the variable. So, sum f of x comma y. See the limits. Horizontal strip means it moves from left to right. In the left side, the equation of x is x equal to y. So, x equal to y to x equal to a. Done. Now, y is constant. In this figure, this is the total region. See the y value. The minimum value of y is 0 and the maximum value is a. Therefore, my y limits are between 0 to a. Done. So, now we have to write the limits. y is constant 0 to a. x is variable. x is varying from y to a. Hope you understand, student. Now, let us take one more triangle. I am just giving you more idea. I am grilling your knowledge. Now, see this problem. Immediately, I can write double integral over f of x comma y. Since 
we have a horizontal strip i will write dx dy now limits for the limits concern it starts from left and it ends at the right so x equal to 0 2 now right hand side see this equation the equation is x by a plus y by b equal to 1 so i want x in terms of y x by a plus y by b equal to 1 i have to rewrite this x by a is equal to 1 minus y by b so finally x equal to a into 1 minus y by b therefore my x limit is varying from 0 to x equal to a into 1 minus y by b done now we can see the y limits since x is the variable y is going to be a constant see this problem the minimum value of y is 0 and it reaches the maximum value b therefore y equal to 0 to y equal to b is my y limit so we have to write the limits like this since y is constant 0 to b and the inner limits are 0 to a into 1 minus y by b Next problem, see the figure. It is a circle, but only my first quadrant is shaded. So we should be very cautious about the region. Here the first quadrant is shaded. See the vertical strip. Whenever I see the vertical strip, immediately I will write double integral over the function f of x comma y dy dx. That means y is variable, x is constant. So I have to find y limits first. So it goes from bottom to top. At the bottom, we have the limit y equal to 0. At the top, it is touching the circle x square plus y square equal to a square. Now we have to find y. So x square plus y square equal to a square. y square is a square minus x square. y is going to be plus or minus square root of a square minus x square. But see, the circle, we are taking only the first quadrant in the first quadrant all are positive so i will take only the positive value a square minus x square therefore y limits varies from 0 to square root of a square minus x square now we have to write the x limit see here the minimum value of x is 0 in this green region and the maximum value is a because the radius of the circle is a so x equal to 0 to x equal to a then student now outer integral we have x we have to write the x limit for the inner integral we have y we have to write the y limit square root of a square minus x square so if you are thorough like by seeing the diagram writing the limit or from the question how to draw the diagram if you know this both then you are the expert in solving the forthcoming videos whether it is change of variable or change of order or simple double integral problem or triple integral problem thank you for watching we hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more and keep up the great work. Subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.